great. So why don't we start by having you uh, set up the premise of the show? Uh, it's kind of an interesting one based on a previous uh, anthropological experiment. Right. Yeah, I know. Survive the, the Raft is based on a, a social experiment done in 1973. So 50 years ago, an anthropologist named Santiago Genovez, he put 10 people on a raft from radically different backgrounds, right? And they floated from the Canary Islands in Spain to Mexico, 101 day trip. Uh, and, you know, these people with obviously their, their different beliefs and, um, and backgrounds, uh, they brought different skills to the table, right? Uh, and that trip was not without controversy. It was not without struggle. I mean, they're floating across the Atlantic. It's that, that's not gonna be easy for anybody. Um, but you know, these people also, I guess, found ways to come together through all of this and help each other through the trip. And I think they all learned quite a bit, you know, there's actually a documentary done about that initial, uh, uh, uh voyage. And, and that's what I was shown by discovery. So I got to learn about this experience and they're like, Hey, look, we want to recreate this today. You know, 50 years later, we're still very divided and maybe over some different things, but it's kind of a similar feeling uh, across the country and even the world. So we're going to put, um, we're going to put people today on a raft and we're going to be in the Panama, uh, excuse me, the Pearl Islands down in Panama. And, you know, these people, they're not all going to get along. They're going to be handpicked to disagree actually. And we'll see what happens and there's going to be challenges and there's going to be, uh, you know, opportunities for them to earn some money. Um, it's going to be the trip of a lifetime, but it's also going to be very, very hard. And we think with your background, you know, being in the military and playing football and kind of being around these different groups of people, whether it's here in the States or overseas, you know, you, you, you might be uh, uniquely qualified to, uh, to host the show and kind of be a part of this experience with us. So that's how it was brought to me. And, and, you know, I thought it was really awesome. I, uh, I was, I was really stoked. I, I'm, I typically, you know, I think of reality TV and I kind of think of something different, you know, it hasn't always been my, uh, my bag, you know what I mean? But when I heard about what discovery was doing with this, it was just different. And I thought it had a very important message underneath it all, uh, that we maybe need to hear today. Yeah. So talk a little bit about the castmates that you have, um, uh, on the raft. Um, you know, you've got, we've obviously got a lot of uh, social difficulties in the U.S. right at the moment, uh, racial, sexual orientation, religious, all these different uh, uh, hot button issues right now. Um, right. Some of these issues uh, come out during the series. Yeah, absolutely. You know, and, and that's I mean, that's what makes it special. It, it definitely it makes it challenging and it makes it for some people, including myself, you know, there are lessons that I need that I need to learn, and we all need to kind of continue to challenge ourselves and look at different perspectives, think about things from different points of view. Um, and this, 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 you know, you call them castmates, and you're not wrong, but they, they we like to call, I like to call them crewmates because they're on this boat, and they didn't feel like cast members to me. You know what I mean? And and I think people will. I think people will agree when they watch this. It just doesn't, it doesn't have that element of, of, you know, scriptedness that a lot of these shows they, they do have. And I understand why often, you know, you've got to like weave a story in and figure that out, but it just took on such a life of its own. And really what was, what was drawn up and what played out are very different things, uh, which I think is the point, you know, and, and that's great, but boy, th this group so different. I mean, you know, from, from all all corners of the country um, and very different, uh, as you say, you know, religion, sexual orientation, politics, uh, hobbies, you know, just skill sets, all of it, just very, very, very different. Um, and it's, it's hard when you have to have a conversation with somebody outside of a world where you're forced to <laughs> live together and work together and sleep together and all these things. And you've got no outlet. There's no, there's no alone time. You can't just run away from it. You got to face it head on every day for 21 days. And then you got to work together uh, to try to earn some money. You know what I mean? Try to like, try to, try to sort of uh, um, 
win is not the right word, but just compete, you know, in this, uh, in this experiment at the same time, it's, it's, it's quite complicated, but it's really incredible to, it was incredible to experience the growth of people and like the arcs they sort of went through. And, and I learned a lot about myself and, and just better ways that I can better, you know, listen to others and work together with people that I maybe don't disagree or I don't agree with. So what was the most difficult moment for you as uh, the host of it to, you know, what, what conflict or what, what, what was, what was the thing that, that um, you found the most challenging? Well, you know, so when I'm not on camera and I'm behind the camera, I have, I guess, the luxury of being able to watch a lot of these conversations that are happening, right? So we've got our crew out there and they're capturing all these moments and these people having these very real and raw uh, dialogue. And I'm, you know, back in a control room watching a lot of that and uh, and learning about them and seeing, you know, who maybe has issue with 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 who. And, um, and then when... You know, we, we go up on the top deck in every episode and we and we have, you know, a very organic conversation. And I'm not only like fostering that, I'm I have to kind of push that sometimes, you know what I mean? So that was really hard because I know there was some deeply personal things that people were struggling with and they were talking about it, but maybe not with the people they should be talking about it with. And sort of like uh, sort of being that conductor, you know what I mean? And like making sure, Hey, you know, I know that you've got something on your mind that you want to share with so-and-so, uh, or maybe you don't want to share with so-and-so, but, but perhaps you should, and maybe you guys should just talk about this and see if you can find some common ground or, you know, I, I, that kind of stuff was tough because, you know, I think generally people uh, including myself, we, we don't always want to just embrace conflict. We kind of want to avoid it, you know, and let, like, like, let's just not go there. Let's keep it civil. And, uh, but that wasn't the point of the show. It was to really, you know, dig deep and have those, those very difficult conversations. Uh, so we can move past where we're maybe different, find where we're more similar and then work together towards solving problems. Uh, Cause there was plenty of problems out there on the raft that they had to solve and they couldn't do it alone. Yeah. What was the biggest takeaway or learning for you from this experience um, or, or even like a life lesson that you got um, from witnessing all of this? Yeah, I mean, it's something they tell you when you're in kindergarten and it's hard to continue to believe that and remember that as you grow. But, you know, just not judging a book by its cover, uh, because when I first met, uh, you know, this crew and and got to know a little bit about them and kind of hear some of their stories and, you know, the way that they feel about certain topics. And I, I of course, I'm going to make judge, judgment about each one of them. I can't help it. You know, I'm going to, I'm going to say, oh, I've got something in common with this person. Maybe I don't have something in common with that person. I'll bet this is the one that just can't handle the pressure. And I'll bet that that's the one who is going to be so stuck on uh, being right and set in their ways. They won't be able to to flex and they won't, they'll, they'll be out there for themselves. And I was proven wrong so many times, you know what I mean? And luckily all that stuff was to myself. So <laughs> it's not, uh, it wasn't something we were um, capturing like my opinions uh, because I was, I was proven wrong time and time again. And I love that. I mean, I love when I see that in people, that's one of my favorite things just in the human experience when, when people prove you wrong, you know, and you're so sure that this person um, would make the quote unquote wrong choice and they don't you know what i mean they rise above that and they show you that anybody's capable uh of being a great teammate you know and 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 changing and 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 being open minded and maybe um letting themselves be vulnerable enough uh and and uh and i guess humble enough uh to to say you were so sure about this thing before and now uh you know maybe not maybe i was wrong that's a tough thing to do. Thanks for watching the You Interview channel. With over 3,000 original celebrity videos, we have one of the largest collections of celebrity interviews anywhere. So remember to like and comment on our videos and subscribe to the channel. If you want to get more involved, you can become a member of the channel. Membership has its perks. You can see exclusive celebrity videos and get the opportunity to ask our celebrity guests questions. We can't wait to hear from you.